Hey, what you doing? Ooh, a spreadsheet. I like spreadsheets. What's this one for? Oh yeah? Can I see? Wow, that's a lot of changes. Are these all like New Year's resolutions? Yeah, I see that. Eating healthier, working out more, reading more books, learning a new language, getting more sleep. These are all great goals. More concrete than I expected, some of them, but really good. Definitely. Just do me a favor, okay? Don't try to do too much too fast. I know, but I know you. You get very into an idea and kind of throw yourself at it, and that doesn't always go well. These are some pretty significant lifestyle changes. You should be sure you're easing into them, if that makes sense. Well, for starters, don't try to do them all perfectly right at once. Some of this, it takes time to adjust. And the adjustment period is hard. Learning to sleep better, it's a process. I don't think you should try to shift everything in one day or one week and then maybe get frustrated when it doesn't immediately pan out. Mm-hmm, but that's really common. People have great intentions. They want to make big changes and make them all at once. But that tends to be really rough. And then people get annoyed and disillusioned and they go back to old ways. I've done it myself many a time. I think the key is to see them as lifestyle changes, stuff you plan to do long term, even forever. Eating healthy? Sure, let's do that forever. But we can't just leap to a totally different menu around here. There are recipes to learn, ingredients to develop a taste for. We even have to let our own bodies adapt to the new foods so we don't suffer too much. The better move is usually to start small, swap a few things for healthy options, and then a few more. Stick to the little things until they add up to big things. Get it? Right. And there's also a lot of trial and error. Healthy is a broad term. What's healthy for us? Maybe we ask our doctors about it, or do some research. Maybe we try a variety of things and see what works best. If we're making a sweeping change that we plan to stick to, we have to do it right. Otherwise, we'll probably fail and feel even worse. Of course we, you and me, we're a team. I want to get healthier too. We can do a lot of this together. Absolutely, I'm with you every step of the way. Misery loves company, right? I'm mostly teasing. Just all things in balance. Baby steps for the hard stuff, taking it slow when we need to, adjusting to big changes, and one more thing. Having a little grace toward ourselves if we drop the ball. No, I mean like, if we're doing really well, but then we have a really bad day and we order a pizza, that's not an end of the world thing. We don't get to beat ourselves up for occasional indulgences or even little backslides. Progress is rarely linear with these things. We'll have up days and down days. But in the end, we'll get there, as long as we let ourselves. We won't quit, but we also won't punish ourselves for being human. We can allow for some flexibility. If we don't hit X goal by Y deadline, that's okay. As long as we get there in the end. Right? Right. Okay, then. Should we do some research into foods we can try? Maybe look into some sleep aids? I'm game to help however I can. Sure, that sounds good. And sweetness? I'm proud of you. Because you want to better yourself. You're always looking to learn and grow and improve. That's amazing to me. You're amazing to me. You impress me a lot, and I'm just glad I get to be on this path with you. Yeah, well, that's one of my resolutions. Be more expressive of my feelings. So, I love you. And you're awesome. And I can't wait to see how we do with these goals. 
one change at a time.